hello hello welcome back to my channel my name is charmaine if it's your first time visiting thanks so much for visiting this is not your first time welcome back welcome back welcome back today i'm going to do these converses as you can see i have a pair of white converses low top i don't know i'm gonna let you know what size this is in a minute so you'll know or whatever um i have <laughs> i have a dollar tree mitten you know cooking glove stuck in there because I need to make sure you make sure when you do, do this, you gotta make sure you stretch out the um, shoe so you better put the rhinestones on there. Yes, I'm gonna be putting rhinestones and pearls on these shoes. It's for a wedding. I am such a procrastinator. Um, today is Wednesday and they need the shoes by Friday. So I have to get to it. So I said, let me go ahead and make a video because I never did a video on bling blinging a whole shoe. I do have a um, video of how I um, he pressed a name on the shoe and put some rhinestones on the front right here. So um, you can take a look at that video on my channel. But today I'm going to be doing just one shoe on this video. Then I'll show you both of the shoes at the end of the video. Okay, I'm not going to be showing you the whole time that I'm going to be blinging the shoe. Because it's going to take forever. I might be up all night, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to show you how I started off. I'm going to come back in and check in and show you how I do the side. Um, and then I'll show you how to, how it's going to look at the end. Okay. But your girl going to be watching power <laughs> Why I'm doing these shoes. Cause it's gonna, I'm going to be down here for a minute. So I'm going to do probably one shoe tonight and then I'm going to do the other one tomorrow. And then Friday, they can, you know, take a day to dry and I can get them to my Friday. Yes. These shoes have been worn. What I did was I just, um, wiped this down with alcohol to make sure, you know, cause this is leather, whatever it is. Um, I wipe it down with alcohol, but I can't do anything with this. It's cotton, you know, cloth. So, um, I don't have to worry about doing that with alcohol. It's, it's going to stick good. The glue we're going to be using will stick good on that. But I just want to make sure this is clean. So, I wiped it down with alcohol. And these are the beads we're going to be using. I get my blings from Blingology. Okay. These, are, I think they are 10. Let me see. They are Crystal AB. I don't know what size they are, y'all. I'm so sorry. They're really tiny. I know that much. They're really tiny. They're really cute. You can see that. Excuse me. So I'm going to be using those and these pearls. And I already have this little container I got from Blingology. I got this glue. It's the E6000 Plus, which is odorless. Okay, and it's clear. Make sure you get some clear glue. You can use whatever glue you want. I was going to use this gym tack, but um, because I like the way this works, but I never used it on the shoe before. So I know a lot of people use um e6000 i didn't want to use the regular e6000 because it stink it smells so i went to the store and got a couple of these they um this, this the um orderless ones only come in the small like this they might be bigger on amazon but i got this from joanne fabric okay so i'm gonna be using that and i have this little picker upper thing it's just like a, some wax on the bottom of that that my phone will focus and this right here is, i just use this to move the beads around or if i need to move the glue around i use that so i'm using this i got this from blingology too i, I i'm pretty sure i did but they have these on Amazon too. It's called a, I don't, it's, it's called a, I'll put it in the description bar. I know it's not with a C. <laughs> I'm so sorry, y'all, but I don't want to mispronounce it. You can order this. I will put the links below, everything I use in this video. And if you use my Amazon links, I will get a certain percentage off of that. And that goes towards my channel. Okay. So let's get started. Okay. So like I said, I went on here to stuff this shoe. With this um mitten I got from Dollar Tree, so I can stretch out the um shoe, stuff it in there real good. Um, I will not be doing this part right here. I'm just gonna be doing the side of the shoe, the front of the shoe, and then the back of the shoe. And back here, I will be putting the she's gonna be put the um her wedding date, which was it'll be nine twelve. We put nine twelve right here. I'm pretty sure she gonna put the year too, but I don't know. It might not fit. It's gonna be really tiny. I would like to put the year on this side or either they name, but she just wants the year up and down the shoe right here, so. That's I'm gonna put the year down here, and she wanted either a navy blue or orange. So I figured that out later. That'd be my last thing I gotta do, and I just iron that on later after I finish doing the whole shoe. Okay, okay. So what I'm gonna do first is go ahead and get some put some glue on here, and I'm gonna just go ahead and try to line the shoe. I'm probably just gonna go like start the beads going around like this, or the, I'm gonna do just the rhinestones on here. I'm not gonna put any pearls up here. I'm gonna put all rhinestones up here, right? So what I'm gonna do is take this glue and just put spread it on the top of the shoe. You might not be able to see it right now because my hand is away, but I'll show you after I finish. 
just put a little bit because this, this does um, dry quick. So I'm gonna just put a little bit at start start it off with. And just like that. Cover it up because it dries quick, y'all. Let's go ahead and shake this a little bit. This thing right here is supposed to make if you shake it, it's supposed to turn around, but it's not working for me right now. Not that many is turning around. So I'm gonna go ahead and start placing this on here. It's gonna be tedious, y'all. It's my first time doing a whole shoe. So I'm you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and see time it and see how long it's gonna take me to do it too. So I can at least know about how long it's gonna take me. So I'm just gonna go and place these beads and I'm like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and just go around. Like I'm gonna start, I'm gonna go around like this. Then I'm gonna go back on top and I'm just go around just like that. That's how I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Okay. Please like this video if you like the content. Um, thanks for all my subscribers. I do have over 100,000 subscribers. My son, I'm like, Mom, where you getting your, your YouTube playlist? Your your YouTube um, button? I'm like, what is a button chain? So my son, I guess he's he trying to help me figure out how to get the button. He went on YouTube and called him and said, she got 1,000 subscribers, y'all didn't? 100,000 subscribers, y'all didn't send her, play, her playlist? So hopefully they might send it to me and I can show y'all when I get it. Because he's so excited about that. It's like a button or something. I don't know what it is. I keep on saying playlist, but I think it's like a YouTube button. So when I get that, I will show it to y'all. I have a little video on that. If y'all have any videos y'all want to see, let me know. I said I was going to do some videos on how to sublimate on some regular style notebooks. Somebody did that already on YouTube. I'm on Facebook. But then somebody else tried to do it. They said they couldn't do it. So I don't know. I don't want to do it. It don't work. So I might just do it one day and just see if it works or i might just show y'all so y'all can be like okay we'll see it for for my you know first experience and you don't have to worry about wondering or guessing so i like doing the um i like when i do the beads i want to put a bead in the middle of two beads because it, it fits better so you see these two beads right here i mean these two pearls i'm sorry these two rhinestones i put a, a put one in the middle of that so that it'll fit better okay and that's what i'm gonna do I'm gonna put them in the middle, okay? Y'all can see that. Put it in the middle of the the bottom two, okay? See that? Cute. That's how I'm gonna do it. And I'm, I got a little space right here. I'm gonna move it over just a little bit so I can put another one right here so I can put some more glue. And then we you know when you want to use a little tiny bit of glue, you just put it on the big, back of this little tool right here and put it right there. That's how you do it. Just spread it around. Just like so. This glue goes a long way, y'all. I bought a couple of them. I ran the um, Hobby Lobby today, well, Joanne Fabric today, just because I, so I, wanna, I don't want to run out, y'all. So I just went ahead and bought some just in case I might need it because I don't want to be stopping. I don't know how much I'm going to get done tonight, but um, I would definitely show y'all how much I get done and how long it took me to get this part done, okay? I'm doing this video. So like I said, let me know what y'all want to see. I run out of ideas, but I want to start doing more videos because y'all know y'all be missing me and I appreciate y'all asking about me and seeing if I'm okay. I got a lot going on. I have started doing um sewing classes, cricket classes, and embroidery classes. So if you're interested in that, check out my um inbox me on Facebook, Charmaine Galloway. And we can either and if you're not in Toledo, Ohio, we can do some Zoom. I can zoom. Or a Facebook chat, Facebook um, Messenger. We can do a um, one-on-one video on how to embroider and um, or sew or the cricket. Okay, so just inbox me on Facebook, and, uh, um, and I can send you the flyer, the times, and the prices. It's, okay, so that's how it looks right now. If I can see that. Those are shining, y'all. Those are nice. I like those. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this because this video... Ooh, I just knocked it over. I don't want the video to be too long, so like I said, I'm going to go all the way around. And I might come back when I get in the middle of the, in the, middle of the shoe, in the middle right here. Okay, I'll come back. to show y'all what I did. Well, I can go ahead and do a little bit more, y'all. Let's do this side over here. Let's take the glue. Spread it over. Spread it around, I'm sorry. Um, I really want to start doing some um little kids shoes. 
these shoes um are like i said for a customer but i think i'm gonna go ahead and buy some converses and do a sample so i can just get a get used to it so i can start doing more of these i love doing tutus so these shoes will be cute some kid shoes will be cute with the little tutus and then i put the ribbon with the shoe strings and i had like the little cute tutu with the ribbon sock i mean with the ribbon laces and then the, the get some ribbon for the um socks also so i think i'm gonna and then i also can put on the embroidery patches on the shoe let me know if you want to see a video on that on doing a kid's shoe that'd be something new and then i'm gonna add a patch to it and then the bling bling also i think those would be cute for little girls y'all pray for me because i really wish i could be doing this stuff with my granddaughter if y'all know my granddaughter she passed away she would have been one this year um my daughter was giving birth to her i would love to put her in these little pretty shoes and clothes and tutus that i'm making that's why i started sewing for her to make her all her clothes so i always think about her when i'm making these clothes and shoot and stuff for little girls and for little kids so but i know one day my god will bless my daughter with another child and i'll be able to spoil the heck out of them, her or he So my son, he's 11, so it's hard, you know, I make him stuff, but he getting too old. He, I mean, I make him a lot of t-shirts. He like t-shirts and stuff and, and, and tumblers. I'm like, dude, I'm not making no more tumblers. <laughs> I'm just talking y'all because I want to show y'all. Sorry, I didn't have a turn. See how I just put, I'm putting the rhinestones in the middle of the rhinestone and that makes it look more fuller. So you don't get no gaps in it, okay? And I know how to do this because I have blinged out a, um, a tumbler before. Oh my goodness, I would not do that again because that was just too much work. And I want to see if this is going to be a lot of work to do this shoe. But that tumbler, oh my God, and I used these small. I didn't use these big bees. These are going to be, these are bigger. So this won't take that much long, that time, that much time that I did for the, that tumbler. But oh my goodness, this is cute though. It's shining. So um, yeah, I did that. I might end up doing this. I might, I think I want to go up here and go across like this. I think I will. Do it that way i might just go ahead and go across like this so i'm gonna go ahead and do that right now and then i'll be done and i'm gonna show y'all after i'm gonna show y'all how it looks after i got to get the whole thing done so let's see if i should do this hope it hope this work y'all y'all see the so next time y'all come to if y'all do want to do this video i'm gonna let y'all know like when well, y'all shouldn't have put the beat the um the stones at the top first y'all should have kept on going around like this you should have kept on going around so i'll let y'all know if this works out which way it works best okay but whatever way i do I'm gonna end up trying. I'm gonna do it the same way on the other shoe because I wanted to make sure it looks the same. Okay. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and go across like this, and I can just push the glue. If I see some glue, I'm gonna push it up some to make sure it's enough glue right here. I don't think I put enough glue on here, y'all. Let's see. Yeah, just just push it around. I'm not showing my face today, y'all, because I got my hair done today, and I do not like it. But I'm just wasting my money, so. I might wear it until the weekend, or I might not, because I don't like it. Since I'm being in the house doing this shoe, maybe I wear it, because I'm not going nowhere. But I'm not showing my face today, because I do not like my hair. So that's why you don't see me, but I will be doing a live. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm probably going to do a live, um, and I'll probably show the shoe. And I can be doing, I can be putting the beads on there. I mean, the, I think I was saying beads, y'all. Those are, you know, the rhinestones on there. And I can do like a discussion, talk to y'all, answer questions or whatever. So y'all might see one of those lives up when this video come out. Because I just want to get on and say, hey, because it's going to take me a couple of days to, be, um, to do this video. So I might just go ahead and pop up on YouTube and do a live and show y'all the shoe that i'm working on okay so i'm done with that for right now okay so what i'm gonna do see that is shining 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 blinging y'all blinging 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 so i'm gonna go ahead and finish this i'm gonna go ahead and go or keep on going around like this keep on going around filling it up and i might come back again to show you before i finish it all so i can see how i close it up okay but that's cute y'all just push it up some so it'll be up as far as it can on that white part of the shoe hopefully this because you never know it might because you when i'm doing this we gotta make sure at least they fit in there you know gotta make sure they fit in and fit, fit inside the um all the beads fit in there you have no gaps or like that so we gotta see we might have to remove them around but this is gonna be dry it's gonna dry quick so let's hope hope it works y'all and i will come back to show you the results of this part right here 
See you soon. Okay, I just want to show y'all the outcome. It's getting really pretty. So I, like I said, I went around. Keep on going around, and that's where I stopped at right there. So I'm gonna put the last few big rhinestones in here in the middle, and I'll be done. Top. I'm sorry, I'm holding my phone in my hand. It's gonna be a quick little thing that I'm doing right now. Just push them in there. And now they fit. Hopefully they fit. We're gonna see. We got a remover. Re remover. Remover. A little bit. You can move them around a little bit because they're still wet. The glue is still wet. One more in here. Hey, we did it. There's not many gaps in here. There's a little bitty gap right there, but I can push this down some. And we all good, baby. <laughs> Bring it down some. Little bitty gap, but you can. I'm sorry, I'm not on the camera. Look at that, y'all. Ain't that cute? It's, these colors are different. It's like I thought they was gonna be just clear, but there's a lot of different colors in there. But it's still cute. Okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do this side. Okay. I'm gonna start putting the I'm gonna put the glue down right here, and I'm just gonna put the beads like right here. I'm just gonna go in the middle of here like this because I'm put some. I'm gonna have um the uh, um the ribbon right here, so I'm gonna have to worry about this. So I'm gonna go ahead and go across just like this. I don't have to worry about going inside there because it's gonna be ribbon. Okay, and the ribbon is gonna be thick, so it's gonna be covering that part up. Okay, so I think I might just go right here. Have the beads go like that. The same for right here. Just have the beads go from right here, line up on here, and don't worry about nothing up in here. Okay. So we're gonna see how that works. Ooh, that is shining, 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 shining. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this, and I'll be back to show you how I got it started. I just want to show y'all what I got done so far. Um, just I've been working this for like 45 minutes now. So I did this within the 45 minutes, and I also did this so about 45 minutes to a about an hour, about 45 minutes. So I'm just putting it on here. I don't like the way I'm <laughs> putting these rhinestones on, but maybe it'll look better after it dry. Or maybe I'll just throw some more silver ones in here. I just want to put some more rhinestones in the middle to make it bling bling more in the middle. Um, yeah, we'll make we'll make it work. So I'm gonna keep on going and I'll be back to show y'all the rest. Put some more in the middle. Do more rhinestones, put some more in the middle. Okay. Whew. Okay, y'all. It's been about an hour and a half. I did all this in about an hour and a half. It's coming along pretty well. Next time I know to put a little bit more <laughs> rhinestones in there, but it's still cute. See how it looks far away. Um. Next time I probably would go straight lines across like that. I'm, like I said, I'm used to doing beads. I'm not used to doing um pearls and rhinestones i'll either do either or i'll usually mix them like this i do mugs i do a lot of mugs like these oh, this is a mug i was gonna do but i usually just put um either the rhinestones by themselves or i put the pearls on there different color pearls but this is my first time mismatching but it's easy to do because you basically can put the um the rhinestones in the spots where it's, you know it's tiny spaces okay i'm just giving y'all close up so you can see the blue will clear up so um yeah, you see, you'll just put the rhinestones in the small spaces, and that's what I try to do. That's how it looks. Okay, I didn't do the other side yet. This is the front. The front, I like the way the front looks. I like the colors. And then I'm going to do the back. I'm going to do the side. Tomorrow, I'm tired, y'all. So I'm going to look at my hands. This is glue is very, very messy, y'all. Very messy. I have to keep on spraying my hands down with alcohol because it's getting sticky. The little th thing picker up here getting sticky. Oh, it's so sticky. No, I can't. Yeah, it's, it's a mess. Messing with this glue is a mess. But that's it. And I did this shoe too. I did the front part of that shoe. But tomorrow, I have to get it done because it's due the next day. I got to give them to my client the next day and I want to make sure they dry. So <sighs> I'll be getting on these tomorrow. So I'll be back tomorrow to show you. Okay, y'all. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Let me show y'all what I already showed y'all what I got done. This is dried overnight. Looking really good. This looks good too. Next time I know I should put more rhinestones in there, but it's gonna be okay. 
okay so now i'm going to go ahead and like i said see i didn't get it all the way to the top of the shoe because i you know you gotta put the shoe on you want to bump it they're really dry a really good y'all i love the way it looks so i'm gonna leave this plain because i'm gonna put some i'm gonna put the date right here i'm gonna go ahead and start doing this part of the shoe like i said i got a um mitt in here a little oven mitt inside of here keep it fluffed out and i'm just going to go ahead and put some glue i put some gloves on y'all because yes last night i'm telling you my hands was full of glue so i just oh man i hope this opens up oh lord see and that's what happens it doesn't open it's not going to open up for me tonight today so i'm opening up the other glue let me see if i can just figure it out i gotta put some muscles in here <sighs> okay there it is <laughs> now, this is no joke okay so now i gotta stick something inside of here because this this guy uh, it gets stuck in there it gets stuck in there you gotta push it real hard to get that glue that dry glue out of there this is horrible y'all they need to figure out some other way to do this let me get this together so if y'all know any techniques to let me know how to do that let me know because this glue be drying up that's just a waste of four five dollars for the glue it want to dry up in the middle hey, i gotta cut it open i'm just trying to dig it out a little bit okay there we go i had to really smash it y'all that's a pain in the butt big old clunk of glue in there stuck in there i'm just pulling it out okay so now I'm, everything i'm touch on i'm making a mess y'all i'm making a mess y'all but anywho and i'm just gonna put the glue on there so i can um spread it out i'm, I'm gonna start wearing gloves because it's I want my hands all filled with glue when I'm done with all this. Sorry, my hand is in the way, but I'm just showing you. I'm spreading the glue where I want it to be. We're going to go from there. Please go ahead and like this video if it's helping you out. Okay. Now, I, found, I got this also. This is called a pick-me-upper tool. I got this from online you can google pick me upper or i'm gonna try to put the link in the um description box below this one is a little bit easier to use the other one was getting kind of dull that wax was getting kind of dull so hopefully this will work for a little while for me so i can go a little bit faster okay so i can get it out the way get this shoe done it sticks a little bit better the other one i was having problems with yesterday so this is good sometimes it sticks a little bit too much that's why i stopped using it but we're gonna see how it works today so we're going to throw some beads around here. Go ahead and make sure I put some rhinestones on this one this time so I can have a little bit more bling bling. Oh, yeah, this picker upper is working much faster than the, um, than the other one. I'm just gonna put a few here and then I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video and come back when I'm halfway done with it. So you don't have to see this boring concept of what I'm doing. It's just basically just pushing them in when I can, where I want them. We can move them around before the glue get dry. The, dry, the glue don't dry that quick on this material. So you got time to move it. Like I said yesterday, it was, it was, I was able to move them when I'm almost, almost done with it, I was still able to move it around. So you have time to move them around because sometimes you might have a gap that you want to um, place some more beads in, just move them around so they can be able to fit in there, okay? And you go from there. It's easy, but it is time consuming, of course. Of course, of course, of course. Let me show y'all what I'm doing. Okay. Sorry if the camera's a little far, but I can't put it up no closer because I can't see it if I put any. Well, I could put the, there we go. Forgive me, y'all. Place in there. I might need some more glue right down there. It seems like it's not sticking too good, so I'm gonna put some more glue down there. And the reason how I get the little glue inside the little spots like that, put in the back of this right here, and just move it over in here because it's kind of some glue over here. So I'm gonna just push it around like that, spread it around, and go ahead and put some more. This other one, this one got a back to it too. All these little pick me up things has the little picker up thing and then it has like a little tool on the back that you can spread the glue with. 
okay but this one is called the pick it's called the pick me up okay the other one's called a, um, I'm gonna tell you in a minute. I'm gonna put it in the description bar below, but I know it's start with a C. And I ain't trying to jack the name up, okay? <laughs> so, hope y'all are doing well. Hope y'all try to do some um, shoes. <clears throat> See how that works for you, how, um, if you'd like to do them. Check out my website, my Etsy page, Charming Gal Boutique, number two. I will be putting these on there. And you can see all my other crafts, all my other items that I personalize. I personalize whatever you want. From umbrellas to um, mugs to wine glasses to t-shirts. Um, all kind of stuff, y'all. Plaques. Like memorial plaques. I do journals, notebooks, bags, personal bags, with like African, or anything on there, put anything on your bag for you, but I can personalize for you. I can even put your own face on your bag if you want me to. But please check out my website, my FC page, Charming Gal Boutique, number two. If you don't want to make this stuff yourself, I can make it for you. I love what I do. I love personalizing stuff for people. <coughs> Excuse me. So as you can see, I got that it's spreaded. I mean, I put that little mitten in there so it can spread out a little, um, so it can make sure that everything is straight. And just, it don't have to be perfect. You just put it wherever you want to put it. Put the, um, I mean, you start, as far as the location of the um, rhinestones, just make sure you don't have no gaps. You can just push them down some so it won't be no gap. Before, when I first started doing beads, I'm like, no, we gotta be all the same size. When you put bigger ones on top of small ones, small ones I mean, around the big ones, it looks so much better. Give us that depth look. It's gonna be inside the shoe anyway. People ain't gonna be able to see that part, this part anyway. So my uh, my uh, my other shoe, I make sure I put enough bling on the outside of the shoe because this is gonna, this is inside. <clears throat> you know, when you walk, it's gonna be inside. So, <clears throat> excuse me, something's in my throat. It's going pretty fast, y'all. Like I said, it took me about an hour and a half to do one shoe, one side of a shoe. So, um, probably take about two or three hours to do a shoe. It's hard for me to, um, really calculate the time. Because I be stopping and doing other stuff. And plus, like I said, I started on the other shoe yesterday, too. The front, the front of the shoe. I'll show you that in a minute. Again. This side is going pretty good because not that much shoe on this side. The other side was you know, much wider this, than this you know, side of the shoe. Put some more glue on the side right here. Take my little thing and just get it, put it on here. But well, y'all gotta think of a way to make sure I mix tomorrow when, I mean, later on when I'm using this glue, it won't get clogged up again. Last time I used to do use a lot of glue when I used to do them gla glasses and stuff, which I got a glass I got an order to do coming up. But I do have a video on how to bling out glasses, so check that out. But every time I did glasses, I had to buy new tubes of glue, y'all. But they would be um dried up. But you no, know, I really would cut. I would cut it and then try to use the whole thing by the time I get done with it. Like I would have to cut it like at the edges right here and use it from the back. Keep on cutting higher and higher when I get, you know, when I need it again. But I wonder if there's any other way I can figure out how to do without cutting it. So this is all I'm gonna do for right now. Then when I get back, do I get done with this shoe? Part this part right here, because I'm being on here for like 12 minutes now. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish it and I'll be back to show y'all the rest of the shoe. It'll be done when I come back, y'all. It's gonna bite real quick, okay? Oh my god, that went by so quick. I got this done in 10 minutes, y'all. About 10 minutes. So I'm done with this shoe. Uh-oh, they're falling down. I'm cleaning it up with my hand in a minute when I put my glove back on. But look at that. That is cute, isn't it? So this only took me about 20 minutes to do this side of the shoe. Okay, about 20 minutes for the, the whole shoe, this side. So that was easy. About, um, took me about 30 minutes to do the top. And this side, I'm gonna just say, probably about 45 minutes. Okay, 45, 30, 
about 20 minutes to do the whole shoe. So about an hour and a half, I would say about, about an hour, and about, no, longer, no longer than two hours to do a, a shoe. Cause yesterday I was going kind of slow. So I thought it was about two hours, but about two hours per shoe. Okay. I, because I use this, um, I use this um, thing right here. I use this pick me up. I'm gonna find and figure out if I find some more with these. These are really good, but the thing I hate about this, this things move. It moves. When you turn this, it more of this stuff. It's like glue comes out. It's, it's, it's a kind of tic tac. It's like a tacky glue. It, but it works much better, and I got this done really quick, right? So if I squeeze it, it's come, more come on. You don't want it too sticky, cause then it um, won't pick up the um, it stick this the, um the rhinestones to stick to it. It won't stick to the um shoe. So you just need, it's like gum. It feels like gum. So I'm gonna try to find out if I can find some more of these because this wax right here, the wax works, but then when the, the wax touched the glue, oh my hands getting sticky, um, it stopped working. So you gotta keep on wiping the wax or, or keep on playing with it, smoothing it out or whatever. So these are also these. This is what's called Crystal Cantana, Katana, Crystal Katana. Oh, this is called okay. Um, they work good, but like I said, when this wax get dulled out, like right now, let me see. Sometimes the, the, the beads fall out of. Oh, it's doing good now. See, it falls out, falls off of it. It, it, I mean, sometimes it sticks, sometimes it doesn't. Let's try this one. Oh, my hand's getting glue on. I need to put my gloves back on. See, this one right here is not picking up. See, you can see that. It's not picking up. You know, I want to pick up on the camera show. But sometimes it picks up, sometimes it don't. So these are tricky. But this other one over here, oh my goodness, it picks up really well. I like it. And I stopped using it because I didn't like the way because it kept on twisting and stuff. But it goes quicker than this because playing with these, keep on falling and picking up, falling up. I hate that. So my bet, my best bet to try to find these. I don't know if they're still selling these or whatever. I had this for a long time, so I'm gonna check it out and see if they still selling off. Okay. So, oh, I'm getting glue everywhere, y'all. This stuff is so messy, so messy. So I advise you to use um gloves because it's very messy. So I already went on here and put my um my little mitt inside of here with a glove mitt mitt for the glove the oven mitt. I'm sorry. So now this is straight. See, let me show you how fast this goes. Watch this. I'm gonna put some glue on here real quick and see how fast this pick up. I was gone, y'all. So I'm gonna see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna time this shoe and see how long it takes me to do this shoe. Hopefully, I can be done with this by the time I pick up my son from school at three o'clock. I think right now it's two o'clock, so I'm gonna go ahead and time myself with this shoe. See how long it takes me to do it. How to knock, how long it takes me to knock this out, okay? And I'll let you know. I put some glue on here. I'm gonna show y'all a couple of them. See how show you how how fast it picks up. Watch this. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. And the other one, the wax one, I was keep on it keep on falling off, keep on turning over, flipping over. Look at that. I can be done with this in a minute, y'all. Just moving them around, just make them look good. Put some of these in here. Easy peasy. So like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and um, time this and see how long it takes me to um, do this this whole shoe. I said I was only gonna do one shoe on the video, right? But I just wanna see how quick it takes me to do it so I can know when I wanna um, do more, I can see how much time it takes me, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and um. So this this is how I do it. Line them up. You can do them any kind. Of how you can do it however you want to do them. Put the beat. It don't have to be the perfect. The same like the other shoe because it's a shoe. You know, people are not gonna study your shoes while you walk down the street. Like oh let me see them them round toes is not where it's supposed to be. Like the other shoe. So they ain't gonna study them. Just make it look cute. But I still wanna have that shoe on my face just so I can get a little sneak peek of how it looks. But it's a shoe. And this is when you work on work. It's never. It's not never gonna be the same. Okay, it's always gonna be different when you're putting your skills in there. When you're doing the person when you're personalizing stuff. It's never gonna be the same. Two are not gonna be never the same. Like when you make jewelry, of course you're gonna have the same beads or whatever. But it's um unique, okay, in its own little way. So with that being said, see how fast it's going, y'all. <laughs> I love this. I can get done with the shoe today <laughs> before my little zoom class you know i do zoom y'all i do some um, classes i think i said it earlier i do um one-on-one classes and i can do 
um, group classes too on Zoom or Facebook Messenger. And I also do classes here in Toledo, Ohio. If you're located in Toledo, Ohio, I can, we can set up a time and meet and we can do some classes. Sewing classes, embroidery classes, cricket classes, whatever your heart desires. I can help you out one on, face to face instead of being on YouTube. And you can also travel down here. I can travel to you. If you have a group of people or more, I can travel to you. And I can show you the whole, the whole group. So please inbox me on Facebook. Contact me and we can look forward to meeting and doing some one on one. Because people, it's hard people, it's hard for people to learn off of Facebook. And you need to have questions. Even though I do have um I do do lives and I ask questions, but I can if I can come to you or you can come to me, it'd be much easier or much better for the ones that's hands-on learners. Okay. So now I'm gonna just put some more glue down here so I can be able to put some more small beads down here. Like I told you, I'll take my little thing of my jiggy <laughs> spread it on at the, in the creases so it can fit down there. It's like a little using like a paintbrush, that's it. Put some up here. And now I can just spread it around. I'm almost done with the side, y'all. After this glue is gone, I'm going to um, stop the video and try to um, get it done. And when I get back, when I get done, when I come back, it's going to be done. The shoe is going to be done. So you can see the results of the shoe. I appreciate you for watching my videos. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Check out my links below. The links, if you purchase it from any links below, I do um get a certain percentage of it and that goes towards my channel to help me buy more things to do more crafting if you're in the florida area like around tampa braid braden bradenton brandon i think i said that one wrong um please please um comment below because the riversdale Anywhere, you know, 30, you know, either Tampa or 30 minutes away from Tampa. Comment below. Or either inbox me too. Because I got some plans for temp, um, Florida. How do you, how you say Florida? <laughs> uh, I know we say Toledo ones. Is it Floridans? Flor Floridans? <laughs> I got it in my tip muscle. I can't remember what, how you pronounce it. The Floridians. Floridians. That's what it is. I do. <laughs> but y'all Floridians. Uh, I'm not going to delete that either, y'all. I'm not perfect. When I edit this video, I'm not going to delete. <laughs> so y'all can see, I goof up too. I remember talking. I'm not putting rhinestones on here, y'all. But yeah, all the y'all that live in Florida, surrounding area, I mean, Tampa or the surrounding areas, please inbox me or either in, in, um, you can either comment below because i got some plans for florida coming up this year we're at the beginning of the year okay so i'm just put i'm just throwing rhinestones in there and i'm about to go ahead and get up this video so i can go ahead and count calculate the time so i can know how long it's going to do this shoe y'all <laughs> I just wanted to show y'all this. Look at my mess. Look at my mess. Man, I done dropped this shoe a couple of times, so that's why the beads flipped over here, right? And over here, I used to pour out the big ones because I don't use those because I'm throwing those away. Those are just too big. I don't like them. I don't use them. So I just, I just basically pushed them out the way so it won't be in my little tray here. These trays are wonderful. Look at that. When you shake them, they flip over the right side. They you, they sell these at Blingology or any kind of bead stores. Just check their store. They, um inventory for the little shaker things this is the same way it's supposed to shake them over so they can be on the right side okay yes y'all yes this small tube of e6000 glue will you i use this all up only need one tube of this glue and i do i did two shoes so that's a good thing to know okay 
I use this. I mean, baby, see, I use it generously. I didn't use too much. I used just enough, and they covered both shoes. Okay, I'm gonna show you the shoe in a minute. This is a great tool. I'm telling you, it's called Pick Me Up. I don't want to touch it because my hands is got glue all over, it, and I want my hands to be gluey, <laughs> gluey. That's a word, gluey. Um, and I use gloves because that mess was hard to get off my my hands yesterday. Okay, so um, like I said, I used the um pearls for bling allergy. And then I use these from Bling Allergy too. I love them. Okay, and this and I um use alcohol to get the glue, the glue off my hands. And let's look at the shoes, y'all. Look at this, y'all. It took me an hour to finish the shoe, so that's good. So it took about an hour and a half to do a shoe. The other one I did took about two hours. It was my first time doing it, so now I'm faster with that tool that I told y'all to get. This took me, like I said, this um sh had already a stain on it when she gave it to me, so that's not my fault. But yeah, so it took me an hour to finish the shoe. So with this added right here that I did yesterday, probably about an hour and a half, okay? So look at that shoe. I didn't do the back yet because she wouldn't put the date on the back of it. She wouldn't put 0919, is it 09? Yeah, 09 That's the um, date of her wedding. So she wanted me to do that for the back of the shoe. I'm gonna get some, um, she wanted navy blue vinyl to put on the back or orange. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the navy blue because I have navy blue already. I'm gonna do that and I can show y'all how it looks on my cricket when I get my cricket together. I'm gonna put it on here and then my iron. I can show y'all how to do that too. But look at that, y'all. Look at that shoe. And I'm also change these shoestrings to put some ribbon in. I'm gonna put some white ribbon in it. So I gotta go to the store and get some. I got some ribbon, but I'm gonna get some more because I need to do some more socks. Two loose socks. Look at this other shoe. I'm sorry, I'm holding the camera, but this is how I'm going to do it for y'all so I can do a 360 for y'all. So I'm going to change those shoestrings for her, even though she didn't know that I was going to do that. But I am, because this is for a wedding, y'all. Y'all have to be cute, cute for a wedding. I still got the little um, mitts in there, the other mitts in there, so it can dry. I'll take them off later. Look at that shoe. Isn't it nice? Cute, cute, cute. Okay. So those are the two shoes. And I'm going to go ahead and get my Cricut together and um, on my computer together and everything so I can get these, these numbers um, cut out and size it up. I'm going to measure the um, back of the shoe so I can see what size it's going to be. And I'll be back to show you the end results of this shoe or how to put the um, final on the shoe, okay? Oh my God, I think that fit perfectly, y'all. I think I did a good job with measuring this. So let's see. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, See if it's gonna be the right size. If it is, it's gonna be good measuring for me. Y'all know, I, I mean, y'all might not know, but yeah, I suck at measuring. <laughs> I'm always messing up something. So I'm gonna turn, I'll turn it backwards so we can try to get this together. Peel this off. Oh. Um. See, I just, I do not like uh, doing small images like this because it's hard to do sometimes sorry if my hand is in the way but these letters are not sticking on the uh, everything worked out except for that little hyphen thing let's see if I can find this little I can see that it's really tiny so give me a minute like I said if you like the content of this video please subscribe to this channel I do a lot of videos. Oh, this is not good. It's so tiny. I do not like using tiny, this tiny stuff. Of course, if I'm on the video, it's going to mess up. Of course, of course, of course. So, I'm going to do is pull it off this little, off this little glitter. And put it back on the plastic. Ah, if I don't lose it, it's so tiny. Okay, turn it back over. Jesus. I'm showing y'all how it is, y'all, when it comes to vinyl. That's why I really don't use a lot of vinyl. I love sublimation. If y'all want to see how I sublimate, please check out my other videos. I have videos on how to sublimate everything, y'all. I love sublimation because I don't got to deal with this weeding process. <laughs> but vinyl was nice. Okay, so just let me play with this for a while. Get this back on here to make it fit. I'm only going to do one of the shoes. <laughs> I know I'm gonna have the same problem with the other one. So I'm just gonna show you how I do it this one. I'm gonna get the little iron, the quick little easy press iron. I'm gonna use and iron it on the back of it. Oh Lord. So I'm gonna get these back on here, on these little, these letters back on here, and I'll be back to show you how to iron it on there. Okay, y'all, I got the date on there. This is how they wanted it. So I got the um, September 19th, 2001. It's her wedding date. So that's nice. I did a good job with measuring it, y'all. So I told y'all the measurements already. That was the guessing, and I really measured it with the, um, this little ruler right here 
the um, tape measure. And I just went from here to here. I could have went down somewhere else. So I just put like 1.5 or something like that. And then I um, went across like this, which is under 0.5. So I did a good job, y'all. Usually I'd be, when I use vinyl, usually it'd be too, way too big or way too small. So this was a headache to weed out because it's so tiny. But um, I used this small arm I got from Hobby Lobby or where I got where I get this from? Michael somewhere. I think I got it from Joanne Fabric. Yeah, Joanne Fabric. So it's a nice little small arm. I could have used my Cricut, but the Cricut is kind of too big. So I used this one and it worked perfectly. Okay, so that's on there. That's good. Um, I just kept it. Let me show you how to do the next one. And I'm done with these shoes. Well, no, I'm not. <laughs> I still got to put the lace in there. But y'all already know how to lace up a shoe. So I'm not going to show y'all how to lace up the shoe, but I'll show it to y'all after I get done lacing it though, okay? So what I did was just basically place this. It's kind of, this is kind of awkward. Let me see if I can bring this up some. Okay, there we go. So I don't want to burn myself with the arm. So I just basically place this right here. Like, like so. I have to touch it because if you touch it, it will move. Lord Jesus, this is very hard. This is very hard weeding this, okay? Took me a minute to get it together because it's so tiny. You got to get your eyes straight just to um, get it straight on the dang on plastic because it moved, it lifted up off the um, plastic. So now you see how I got it. So I'm just going to leave it. It's kind of hard. It's kind of awkward. This camera's kind of awkward the way I placed it, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it like this. Hold it up tight and put your hand under there so you can be basically, I'm lift. I'm pushing the, um, the shoe up towards the uh arm okay iron oh, i'm just letting you can rub on the dish you can move it around because it's not sublimation you can move it around when you use something sublimate you just keep it still this is vinyl you can move it around or just let it sit for a minute there's no set time that i do this for i just let it sit Probably like 30 seconds, I think. But just let it sit until you figure if you think it's if it's long enough. I put it on two because this iron get real hot. Okay. Kind of country, y'all. I know I don't say iron the prep the the, the 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 right way. But um, and then you see the letters they still lifting. Just tip that, put the tip on there. Let's move it out. Each number. Okay. Do that again this way. Let it sit for a minute just so it can stick. I think we're good, y'all. Let's see. I'm gonna let it go a little bit longer. Okay, we will be done with this video. I thought I'd do this. Um, like I said, it takes about an hour and a half, an hour to an hour and a half to do this. When you have the right tools, you can get it done real quick, okay? I told you the measurements for this um vinyl i used the first time i used this first time i used this type of vinyl i mean this name brand and it stick pretty well i like glitter just rubbing it around just so it can stay you know you're wearing tear on shoes real hard i don't know if this is a cold peel or a hot peel but we're gonna let it be a cool peel let it sit for a minute Pull it off. Oh, man. I'm tired, y'all. My sister is tired. And I still got socks to do, y'all. I still got... Uh, I still have to do um a pair of... Two pair of... um Two, two socks. Tonight. Before I go to bed, because I got to ship them out tomorrow. I'm turn this iron off. It's, I'm done with it. With that being said, the next picture you will see is the picture of the you with the um ribbon in it so i appreciate you for watching until next time be blessed if you don't want to make these shoes yourself go to my website i will make them i also make a lot of other things so check my website out i will be doing videos once a week and i will try to do a live also once a week so you can be able to ask me questions about anything it don't matter what the live is about you can still answer questions about anything that i can ask ask for you answer for you if i know it i'll let you know but i don't know everything y'all so let me know below what y'all want to see and let me know what y'all think about how these shoes turned out for my first time doing the whole shoe okay let me know what i can do different 
and I will show you the results in a minute. Ooh, these are cute, y'all. I don't like, I don't wear Converse because if I did, I would wear them. I would make me some, but I don't wear Converse. My feet too big. <laughs> what size is this? I'm, oh, this is a size nine. Oh, it's not too bad. I wear a nine. It's not too bad, y'all. I might, I might just might buy me some Converse. It's not too bad looking. All right. Until next time, be blessed. Okay, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Look at this, y'all. Look at this shoe. It took me a minute to figure it out. I can see my embroidery machines in the background. It took me a minute to figure this out, but I finally got it. Yes, as far as lacing, yeah. <laughs> I was like, how do you lace a shoe <laughs> with ribbon? So this is the end result of the shoe. Isn't it gorgeous for my first time? Excuse my voice, I just woke up. I'm trying to get this video out the way because I have some other things I need to get done. I want to be able to get this video out so I can edit it so y'all can see it. So my voice is a little bit raspy. So sorry about that. I just put like a little um mitt in here, an oven mitt, just so I can push this tongue up to take some nice pictures so you can see it's Converse and it's staying up. Because if I didn't have that in there, it'd fall down. So I'm just trying to do that to put some pictures, make some good pictures to make some nice pictures. But look at that, I'm done. So let me show y'all how I laced this shoe. It took me about a couple minutes to figure it out. So basically, you just basically um make sure that this these are matching. You put it inside here, and you make sure they're the same length. And then I just basically heat sealed it with my lighter. Okay, and the, the thing is, you want to make sure that you're overflowing. You want to have the ribbon on top. Okay, so it can be full on top like this. So basically, what I do is just basically set it like this, so I can see how it's gonna fall. Then you just basically go under with it. Okay? But that's not how you do it. This would have been a better idea. That would have been... That's what I should have did. Just like this. <laughs> As I see, and then you skip one, and then it's just go under like that. But what I did was... Hmm. I just noticed that. What I did was... I went under. I go under one time, right? So I put the... um. The, the ribbon through the first one, this one right here, it's under here. So it's able to go over. Okay. So I would go ahead and put it. Both of these are under. The first one I went under, okay. As you can see, the ribbon went from here to here. Okay. And then I go in on top. So you go on top, pull it through. And same way through here, you go over and you pull it through. <laughs> That's what I just said before, huh? Confusing my own self, y'all. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna show you how to do the do it again. Put it in. Ugh. It's kind of hard to do it sometimes. Just gotta basically fold it so it can fit through the hole. Now I'm do the same thing I did with the first start. I take the ribbon and I go under. Okay, under here. See here, here, the back. Push it through under. Okay, on the same side. So you better go this way. And make sure you turn the ribbon to the um satin side, silky side to be on the top. So the same thing over here, you stay on this side and you go under. You pull it through on the same side. Hope you can understand this. Um, it is a YouTube video out here. And I think she does it different because I was trying to figure out how she did it and I couldn't get it. So I said, forget it, I'm gonna do it this way. So just putting in how to lace a shoe. <laughs> with ribbon. I mean, everything is on YouTube. This is YouTube University, okay? I told you, I find things on YouTube. When, I stuck, when I'm stuck, I go to YouTube, okay? So now I go flip it like this. Make sure the ribbon is turned. And I go in from the top. Fold it up real tight. So go in a hole. You get a little point so you can better pull it through. My little point right there. And pull it through. And that's how you do it. Same way over here. Make sure they stay even so your laces can be even. But some, I mean, I didn't make this ribbon long enough to tie it. So I'm just going to put it in the shoe. And if she want to tie it, she can. She can take the last, um, if she wants to. But it's going to be small. So now I know if I, um, next time I know to make it a little longer so, so that you can tie it. <clears throat> but I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. Just put it, you can push it in the shoe too if y'all want to tie it. But this is a yard and a half, about a little bit over a yard. So next time I'm going to do a yard and a half so I can be able to tie it. And for the little kids, I will make sure I make it long enough. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Um, I will make it make sure I make it long enough for the little kids because I know you know what you want to have your kids tie their shoes. They won't flop off, but we grown folks. We don't gotta really tie our shoe. Okay, so I did that. Do the same thing for this one over here. And then flip it like so. Okay, and there we go. So see how much I have left over with using yard and half. If they still want to tie it, they can be a little knot. But since um it's, it's going to be for a wedding, I think it'd be cuter. Just tuck your little um tuck your little um ribbon in. Look at that. Isn't that cute, y'all? You can just play with it to make it look like a little bunchy. Make it look like it's bunchy. Make it look more um elegant. And there we have it. Just bunch it up a little bit. And we have our shoe. Finish. I'm finally finished with these shoes, y'all. It don't take that long. Okay. Like I said, it took about an hour and a half for, for each shoe. If you get the right tools, and then just lace it up. Hour and a half to two hours per shoe. So that's not bad. So you basically, if you want to sell these, make sure you put the time in there, your supplies, and if you're gonna have them buy the shoe or you're gonna provide the shoe. Okay. I'm going to provide the shoe for the little kids because I know I can get a store. I got a store I can go to. They also sell these shoes on Amazon. Okay, so check it out. Check it out. And there's also stores in our mall that sells them. So you can put that price in with your price when you make them. If you don't want to bling out your own shoes, go ahead and go to my Etsy page. I have Charming Gal Boutique, number two. I will be putting these on there. And I will also put them on my children's page also. A ray of sunshine. I think I'm just going to put on my children's plate. My, I don't want to put on a dark page. I just put it on the children's page, which is a ray of sunshine boutique. And we'll go from there. If you don't see it or not, when you if you want to order today, if you want to order these shoes today and you don't see them on my site, just go ahead and inbox me on Etsy and say, Charmaine, I seen your video. I would like to have a pair of adult shoes and tell me what size, what color you want, what color shoe you want. I'm only doing low tops, okay? So let me know what colors, rhinestones and beads you want, and um, shoelaces, ribbon, and then also for the children. I'm going to do children. If you don't see it on my site, just go to my site and just message me and say, Charmaine, I would like to have uh, Winnie the Pooh Converse. So if I you say Winnie the Pooh Converse, I'll put the patch right here on the tongue, and then I bling it out and put the shoestrings on there. So whatever character you want, I can find it for you, and I can put it on the shoe for your little kids. So I do toddlers. I probably start with the infants all the way to the um size mm, preschoolers. Okay, so mm, yeah, probably kindergarten. I can probably go all the way to kindergarten. Okay, so I go from um infant all the way to kindergarten size shoe, and I also do the ruffle socks, the tutu socks to go with it. But they will be the light lace, but I will have to make it make it like a tutu. I also do the tutu socks also. So check out my website. If it's not there, I can still personalize for you. So just message me and let me know what you want. It might take me a while to put it on my site. So here we go. And I can put your, your kid's name on the back if you want to. Or I can put your kid's name on the side of the shoe right here. You know, I can do all kinds of things. So just let me know what you want and I can do it for you. Until next time. So this is different. So I'm going to go ahead and make this look the same. These look like it's different. So this botch, this just go ahead and like botch it up a little bit like that, so it can look the same. And like I said before, I am doing beginner sewing classes. I am doing beginner um, embroidery and Cricut classes. So um, go ahead and message me on Facebook, and we can set that up for Zoom. If you're not in Ohio, we can set it up. We can do um, Zoom classes. And I can see you my um let you know everything about the details of the classes and what you are learning everything in, in each class. There we go. It's cute, y'all. All right, till next time. Be blessed.